Alright guys, this is gonna, just going to be a quick little video about all of my computers. So I guess we will go from oldest to newest. So of course, let's start with the oldest one right over here. My Dell Dimension 2350. Uh, this thing, uh, it's been through a lot actually. It's just about 14 years old, um, or is it, I don't know, it's around 14 years old. Um, it runs Windows XP Professional. It, ran, it originally ran Windows XP Home, but since it got the permanent blue screen of death, I had to reformat it and I ended up installing Windows XP Professional. Specs are, it's got, hold on, let me refocus that, there you go. Uh, it's obviously designed for Microsoft Windows XP which is no longer supported as you all probably know uh, an Intel Pentium 4 uh, which is I believe a single core chip um, a single core processor or CPU or whatever you want to call it uh, 30 gigabyte hard drive and 1 gigabyte of RAM that was upgraded from 256 megabytes and the Dell logo has a dent in it from when it was being slow while I was trying to edit with it and I started punching it repeatedly, but I don't know why I got so mad at it for being slow, because it only has one gig of RAM and a single core processor. So I'm going to show you how, what this does when it boots up. Let me just switch the source here to the VGA input. Oops, I missed it. One, and then two. Okay. Three, two, one. Fans are very loud. There's the Dell logo. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Forgot about that bug. It's apparently set to not boot without a keyboard. So I gotta plug this one in. Alright, let's do this here. What does it say? And F12 is boot, so function F12. Works better if you turn it on. I did an unboxing this vid of this keyboard a couple years back. F12. There we go. Now it should boot into XP. Okay, that did not work. Um, F4. Alright, there we go. Alright, now it'll boot. And... Windows XP. I know some copies say professional right down here, but apparently this one doesn't for whatever reason. I'm not sure. And for its age and specs, it actually boots fairly fast. It's not hooked up to my sound system currently. I I disconnected it. I don't even know why. I just kind of did. <laughs> and there we are on the boot screen. Well eventually. And there it is. There's the cursor at least. Alright. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Windows is starting up. Alright. Not gonna get the beautiful Windows sound. And this monitor does the stupidest thing. I don't know why, but whenever it doesn't get a signal it does that now. I don't it never did it before. But whatever. And we are still waiting for it to log in. And there's the desktop. Alright. And the error message should pop up right in the middle of the screen. Yep, there it is. System32 spools drivers W32x86 dash 3 dash dlcc time dot dll is missing I think that was caused by a virus and I have those really annoying mouse trails on and of course we've got that stupid program that I used to use for everything Final Cut Pro is so much better <laughs> anyway we're gonna shut this thing down now um, Windows XP was Pretty much my favorite Windows operating system. I love this operating system. 
and as you can see it's fairly slow. I'm not sure what the graphics processor is, but it has to be something pathetic compared to what stuff is now. Come on, hurry up, man. Get me on. See, this is this is what happened to me every day. And yes, this did used to be my main computer. Don't judge. <laughs> it's the best I had. <laughs> and it actually worked fairly well for the time that I had it. Alright, we're going to switch back to the DVI port on this. And go on to my next computer, which is actually hooked up to that display over there. So this is my Dell Inspiron 52... no, 53... 5... 531S. The Inspiron. Um... Yep, there, there it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I actually forgot the specs. Oh no, no, now I remember. All right, so it's got a 250 gigabyte hard drive, a uh, four gigabytes of RAM, and it originally launched with Vista Basic, but I put Windows 8 on it. Um, and it has an AMD Sempron, which I believe is also a single core processor or CPU or whatever you want to call it. So, I will turn this monitor on, and we will boot it up in 3, 2, 1. Here come the fans. Yep. Oh, focus fail. <laughs> Hate when that happens. And there it goes, booting into Windows 8.1. And now you can see it a little bit better. And look at that boot. That is, that's pretty fast for that computer. I remember how this thing ran Vista. Vista sucked. And there it is. And here we are booted into Windows 8.1. Not really much to see. I mean, uh, this was my temporary server host before I got the new one up and running, which I will show you next, actually. So, yeah, now we will shut it down. And, yeah, <laughs> not really much to that. Here's the mouse. And that XP machine still has not shut down. Hold on, let me make sure I did this correctly. Okay, it hasn't even tried yet. You know what? There we go, that's more like it. <laughs> Alright, let me head downstairs to where my server host machine is and I'll show you that. Alright, so here is my server host machine. This is the IBM System X3200. Uh, currently has an Intel Pentium processor, which I did not focus on correctly. There we go. Uh, soon to be upgraded to, an, to a Xeon. And, uh, the RAM actually, the RAM upgrade I already ordered yesterday. Um, I'm upgrading from four to eight gigabytes of RAM, and uh, this is all remotely controlled. So I brought this old Dell monitor down here. So I will plug it in and show you. All right, there we go, and. There's the screen. Gotta just plug the keyboard in. Alright, there we go. This is all controlled by Team Viewer from my room. This will eventually get moved back up there, but for now it is down here. Alright, so I'm going to stop the server and shut it down so I can show you what this thing does when it boots up. Alright, so let's close that. And this is running Windows 7 Ultimate. Oh, crap. There's updates. Of course there's updates. Crap. All right. I don't know. I don't know how to skip it on 7. Power button action shut down. Cancel. All right. You know what? I'm just going to. All right. So we are all shut down here. Um. And this thing, when it shuts down, it pulses the uh, power button, power, power light, not button. All right. So I'm going to flip it around and open the back of it. And I hope that didn't scratch the desk. Okay, it didn't. And I left the key down here too, actually. I left that down here yesterday. And yes, the side does lock. So let's 
key and then open it up carefully so it doesn't break that picture. Ooh, okay. There we are. This I'm only doing this because the fans go insane when I turn it on. All right, so I'll give you a quick look. I'll give you a quick quick look around. So there's the RAM slots in there. Two of them are currently taken up. It has four gigabytes of RAM. On the 26th of May, in a couple of days here, um, my other four gigabytes of RAM will get here, and I will install that and upgrade it to eight. Right there, you can see this thing right here is the processor heatsink. There's a three-inch fan right there. And there's a two inch, one and a half inch fan right here. That is actually responsible for cooling down the hard drive RAID, which actually this hard drive right here appears to be dead. It makes a not nice sound when I put it in. So I'll show you that. It is SATA. There's SATA connectors back there, so I might buy a new one just for server backups. Windows 7 is installed on that hard drive. Yeah, serial ADA. There it is, Serial ATA, whatever you want to say. Western Digital too, it's a great brand. Alright, so I'm going to have to unplug this machine to show you what happens because it doesn't do it until it's fully powered down. Alright. Once it starts flashing, I will be good to turn it on. Alright, here we go. In three, two, wait. Okay, one. Fans are very, very loud. Where did the keyboard go? Here it is. Very, very loud fans. When I got it, actually, the hard drive fan was disconnected. And there's this switch right here. That's to tell you, which I will show you actually in a minute what it does. Uh, AC power. Yep, right there. Error system case has previously been opened, so it's just going to continue booting into Windows 7 now. Windows 7 Ultimate. Starting Windows. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Windows 7 is a good operating system. I must say. And see the fans are already spun back down. They are, they are still spinning. Um, just not all the way at full speed. Oh, shouldn't lean that against the screen. This is a very old display. It came with that dimension, actually. And this is the process where it takes forever. <laughs> this thing runs 24-7 actually by the popular demand of people wanting my server up that long. And now that I have Ethernet, I can do that. I've had Ethernet forever, just not in my room. And I moved it down here so I could leave it running forever. And the, these are both 80 gigabyte hard drives. I'll show you the noise it makes when I push it in. I might have to increase the audio. Yep, and it's not spinning anymore either. So I think that hard drive is dead, but I could be wrong. <laughs> it doesn't show up in the uh, computer section. I don't know why they didn't lock this part too, because that's the hard drives. <laughs> I, I'll put the side back on once I'm done here. You know what, I'll do that right now because it's taking forever to load. Here's the locking mechanism you can see right here. See, when you turn it, this little thing pops out here, and this prevents you from pushing the handle down. There you go. Side, just take it over here. It'd be kind of hard to do with one hand. Crap, come on. You know, I'm going to have to set the camera down. There we go. And there we go, it's locked. And... 7 finally booted, so... Alright, we are logging in finally. And there's the server files thing. I feel fairly stupid now. I forgot to cover my MacBook right here. The black MacBook from late 2007. Let's go over it. Boot up. 
So while it's booting up, I will go over the specs. This thing has four gigabytes of RAM, upgraded from two gigabytes, um, and it's recovering from battery dying, uh, which is okay. And I need a new MagSafe charger. Uh, anyway, four gigs of RAM, uh, Intel Core 2 Duo clocked at 2.2 gigahertz, and a 160 gigabyte hard drive. And the fans are spinning up because I have a fan controller that I left on full. And I don't know if it's going to do a full boot up since it, w since it lost battery, and it is not. It just returned from sleeping. And that is okay. Alright, moving on to a computer that some of you may have forgotten about. My cheap piece of crap broken MacBook Un Pro that I spent way too much money on. This is my broken MacBook Pro with Rena Display. Uh, I love this laptop. It was such a good laptop. It had crappy specs, especially since a month later Apple bumped the specs way up for the same price. So this thing had uh, four gigabytes of RAM, a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor, dual core. I don't know if I said that and a 128 gigabyte SSD and of course the screen was uh, 2560 by 1600 so a very high resolution screen I love this thing but it is broken so away with it <laughs> and last but certainly not least my newest computer that was from late 2013 by the way 2007 2001 2007 I think I don't know when the IBM was made Anyway, we are going to go on to my newest computer, my Mac Mini. This thing is a powerhouse com compared to my other ones. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, a dual-core Intel Core i7 processor clocked at 3.0 gigahertz, and a terabyte HDD. I am currently booted into Windows 8, but I'll show how both operating systems boot, and I need to boot back in OS 10 so I can edit this video. Windows 8 runs beautifully on this thing. I am currently logged into my server, or I was, before I closed the server, and it kicked me out for being idle for too long. Anyway, let's go here, and I might as well just turn the speakers back on, because this is like the only one that's connected to my speakers, and we are going, oh, <sighs> there's updates, yay, you know what, I'm going to do the updates, and I will get back to you. That actually got done way faster than I thought it would. I am holding down the option key to bring forth the boot menu, which hopefully will show up here in a second. There it is. So we've got my Mac partition and my Windows partition. We are going to boot into the Windows 8 partition. And there's the Windows 8 logo right there. Look at that. Oops. The focus is failing. Guys, also, something new that I will talk about in a later video, I am going to be getting the Samsung Galaxy S5 very, very soon, if all goes as planned. Um, I wanted the S6, but there are a few reasons I'm not going with it. One being, there's a removable battery um, in the S5, micro SD slot in the S5, water resistance in the S5, and also, it's a dollar. I can get that thing for a dollar over AT&T. So that's, yeah, I think I'm going to get the S5. It can still do 4K, so I'm going to be doing some 4K productivity this summer if I get the S5. And this thing is taking quite a long time to boot. Come on. You can do it. I have faith in you. Especially since Windows 8 one-ups the crap out of Mac OS now. <laughs> there we go. All right. My boot screen. Show yourself. Is it going to make the Vista sound? I think I turned that on. Is it going to do it? It did it. Did it through the Mac Mini speaker, but it still did it. It did make the sound from Vista and 7, actually. Alright, now it's... Oh, but it did it. Drop the iPod. <laughs> now it's going to finish the updates. Um, if you guys are curious, the main camera that I use right now is my fifth generation iPod touch and we are going to wait for this to be done and here we are at the Windows 8 boot screen logging into my user right in here logs in pretty quick 
or so I say, I'm probably jinxed myself again. Oh well. Oh, cover the screen, sorry, or the camera. And there we go, we are booted into Windows 8.1. Alright. So that's pretty much all there is to show with Windows 8. Let's head out and boot into OS 10, which actually is the main OS on this, so once it restarts, it will boot right into OS 10. That's the theory, at least. By the way, the internal speaker on the Mac Mini is... Ugh, it's not the best speaker in the world. Alright, here we are. I gotta go to the screen here. And we should be seeing the Apple logo appearing right in the middle of the screen. There it is. Look at that. And look at the little loading bar underneath the Apple logo. Here we are booting into OS 10. And we have a black screen. Oh, my monitors are aligned correctly. Look at that. And there we go. And it's hot in there. Let's turn that fan on. So you guys might be wondering why you haven't been seeing any Minecraft videos from me lately. That's because QuickTime took a crap on me. Every time I try to record, every 5 to 10 seconds in the video, the video just freezes for like 3 seconds. And here's a calculator from something I was working on in Minecraft earlier today. On my server, which as soon as... You know what, maybe Connor will let me use his computer to use Bandicam with... I might actually have to do that. And there come my devices loading up over here. Come on. See, do you see this Windows 8 one-upping Mac OS now? Although this is beta. This is a beta operating system, so I guess I can't really complain. I guess that is it for the video, guys. There's where you can find me right there. Boom. Those links are also down in the description box below the video. But yeah, guys, so that is going to be it for the video. So thank you for watching.